And I didn't forget to unmute myself. Hello, everybody. It's been a minute. Oh, wait. Do I have the chat? I think I do. This is going to be scuffed. Uh, you know, I'm becoming boomer by the day, I feel like. So, I don't know. If you stay subscribed to this channel, you know I've been on YouTube so long. So, you're just going to watch me age at this point. Um, anyway. Oh, Lord's is transporting a cat to our stream dimension. <laughs> Mello. Thank you for delivering me this gift. Okay, Mello wants to go. Can you please? <laughs> but thank you for that. Thank you for that. Um, thank you so much for the compliments on the background. Uh, I should probably turn down the music. It's probably a little too loud for you guys, right? Let me uh, learn how to stream once again. Um, actually, the, the music is probably okay for you guys. Too loud for me, though. Looking at the levels here. Uh, so, yeah, we're going to be doing some art. You're probably wondering, oh, where's the art? So it's not, this is this is what, we're gonna propose things to you, like we always do. I'm always trying something different. It was the same on Tails channel, it's the same here as ever since I was a kid. This is how it always has been. Um, and if you're new here, welcome. This is, I'm very experimental all the time. Um, so what we're experimenting with today is we're doing an art stream, but we, we know, I, I mean, some people can do art really quickly, like Scarfy's in the chat. Scarfy draws way faster than I can. Um, for whatever reason, I draw really slow, and it doesn't matter how much better I get, I just like drawing slow, like it's a choice. Um, I have fun tweaking away at things and kind of taking some time away from the art and then looking at it again. So it has, I've realized through age, uh, uh, that it's really part of my process. So yeah, 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 anyway. So what are we doing today? Um, I did all of that off stream. Because what is visually interesting is like, well, at least what we think, let us know. But we think like slapping the colors on there, using tactile, like real paints. Um, no hate to digital artists, but unfortunately the value of that has kind of dropped a little bit. Um, or at least the appreciation in general has dropped a little bit because of AI. Boo! Boo AI, ooh, boo. Um, can I get a thumbs down in the chat for AI art? We're about real art, and that's what you guys are gonna see today. So I've done, actually, you know, I have a visual aid for what I'm talking about. So I think this is the right scene. I didn't name them properly. So that's what I finally went with, and I'm gonna walk you through what I, so you can see I drew it on traditional paper first. I find that my ideas come out better with just like classic pen where I can't erase, and it's on a paper, so I can take it anywhere and really brainstorm it. But I also always, do forced perspective a little too much and it was hard for me to really decide what shadows quills were gonna look like can we talk about this so uh, <laughs> this is so the first thing that comes to mind with these kind of quills is it doesn't look like iconically shadow but i really like it when they do in sonic x when they draw him from this high angle and i really wanted to see if i could get away with it I'm gonna like kill your dreams if you like it now. I really liked it when I first drew this. Uh, obviously I stuck with it for a while here. We're still looking at it, talking about it. But unfortunately it's not iconically Shadow. And since we're going with like Shadow is back, Shadow is fearless. I eventually over time, you know, taking some time away from the art, I realized I'm like, you know what? I do think it's just gotta be that iconic Shadow silhouette. And so I eventually get rid of this uh, quill shape here. Uh, as you saw at the beginning, it changes considerably. Uh, I think I know what you're talking about. Um, we can we can pull it up later. I have no problem like literally finding the scenes from Sonic X that I'm talking about. Uh, I realized I don't have my camera for this. It would probably be a little bit more visually appealing if I threw my camera on this scene. It shouldn't take too long. Let me pop. Ah! But I'm covering the drawing. Okay, there we go. Sweet, and this is a perfect corner to be in. Um, so this is like five minutes long, uh, and this is sped up considerably. So this just gives you a peek into my twisted mind. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, I, it just takes me way too long. I like doing this though. Most people would just be so annoyed. Uh, I, but this is, this is the thing. This is how you, I, I love drawing these characters. It doesn't matter how long it takes me. I really want to make not even not just sonic but shadow look really really good i will say it's easier for me to make sonic look good as we start on the speed paint my process on sonic 
Uh, Opal is also commentating in the background too about her experience. If you want the translation, let me know. Uh, but basically, Sonic is really easy for me to capture because I've drawn it. I've drawn him so many times. Um, but that doesn't mean that I don't, well, there are parts of Shadow that are just frustrating, um, but that's because I was, um, I mean, I grew up with this franchise, so Shadow's more angular um, elements on his shoes and um, his like wrists uh, made him less appealing to draw when I was younger, but now it's, it's the perfect challenge. So it was fun now, like I have no problem. Opal alert. Okay. Um, there will be plenty of time for me to uh, engage more with the chat, but uh, actually, I probably could p pause this time lapse. Oh, it does let me do stuff like that. Okay, so I, I can just I can do that. It's it is 2024. I'm um, exaggerating perspective with Sonic characters is hard not to do low key, right? Because their hands are so big, and you really you you want to just get to the the good stuff. Um, eccentric sandal, nice name. Um, and this, I don't think this looks bad, but like, I, this is why I wanted to look at this with you guys, because like, when I take my time with these drawings, it's worth looking at the process. And I think we can make a habit out of these streams. Like it's, it, there's a performative element to how many design iterations I go through for just one concept. And like, uh, looking at this, I, I like it. I'm like, I might, I could have gone with that. Do you know what I mean? Like, and I know my title, it's kind of like, well, I don't like the models, but I wanted to show this because I wanted to show you that like the character designs are so simple that it's really hard to really settle on. Look, look I changed the quill shape. I don't hate that though. Like I keep not hating it. Like it was done. It's been done four times. Are you guys with me? Like the drawing has been done four times already and we're not done. We're almost though. We are uh, more, way more than half. So look, I found a way to like rotate exaggerate his uh, jumping towards the camera a little bit more because of the explosion in the back. I wanted to set Lords up for success because I know that her stylistic colors and painting, the vibrant um, neons are gonna look really cool if we do the um, 3D right, if the lighting can splash on it appropriately with the explosions moving. So the characters have really gotta be angled right. So um, I'm, paying t I'm paying attention to Shadow's angle right now, but you'll notice that Sonic, his back leg or the extended leg, isn't lined up with shadows. I'm, you're gonna see me um, make sure Sonic lines up with that um, before we move on. But right now, uh, yeah, I shrunk that foot so it looks like it's way further back. Uh, I, I messed with the hand size earlier. Tweaking the ears after some feedback from Lords. Of course, Lords' of feedback is always helpful. We're almost at the end. This is this is, this is is basically what I sent Lords. So that's the end of it. Um, and now it's just looping again. I could probably pause it at the end though so we can talk a little bit about that. So there we go. Uh, so this is what I sent Lords. Um, the last thing that I did that I unfortunately wasn't able to film um, was tracing this onto the actual physical canvas. Um, there's a couple of hip hiccups that uh, happened along the way that I feel like I should also talk about before we jump into super interactive chat discussion because the benefit of this being a smaller stream is that you can guarantee that I'm gonna be able to interact with each and every one of you guys. I may not be able, I'm not eligible for super chats right now. Do you guys realize that? Uh, Cause I'm not active enough on this channel. Um, this is a concept for streams that I can do pretty consistently. Like for example, the promotional image that just came out for the Knuckles series. Uh, this is something like Lords doesn't even know about this idea yet. So Lords might not like the idea and then we might not do it. And then I'm just gonna give you an idea of like how it works. So the Knuckles promo image that just came out, Knuckles is sitting on this big chair with all the like funny garage materials, making his kind of like throne. We could do a painting of that too, right? Um, and there's something really cool about physical art, right? There's only one copy of it. Uh, and seeing it be created, you kind of have that, you have more of a connection to the piece if you see the process and how it came out. So it let me know before we jump into this discussion, that's what I really want to know. Um, is do you guys like this concept? This is the, that's, that's the ongoing question. We're gonna get into the more specific questions about Shadow's design. Do you hate what I did? Do you like what I did? Um, what would you do differently? Um, what did you do differently in your redraw? Because I saw a lot of people doing it. Um, shout outs to Scarfy, of course, a uh, good friend of mine. And I'm always gonna acknowledge a lot. Uh, I always really loved how you draw Sonic. Thank you so much. Uh, however, the way you draw Tails, like there was a, a specific time where you and I tried to collaborate. Scarfy and you schooled me on tails like took me to school so you know 
that's how that went. Okay, uh, I, I haven't relabeled all of my scenes since being with Tails Channel, so I don't know if this is the scene that's about a... Which one's my face? Okay, I did it right. Okay, the camera's a little dark. I'm gonna see if I can tweak that. Hold on, let me get a sec. First time streaming in a little bit, so let me just... I wonder if it lets me... But let me edit it in real time. Oh, interesting. Yeah, it did. Um, yeah, look. Yeah, I think I like that. That's. <laughs> I like looked back at my uh, screen and I was like, that. I. I don't know. I just something about the colors. We're talking so much about art. It like activated the neuron for art, and just like unlocked something. Okay, so we're about to switch the scene over to Lord's live painting, and then we're gonna discuss, because that's gonna take a while. It's still gonna look really cool, but um, it's gonna take a little bit. So I'm actually going to, this is where it's gonna get a little troubleshooty, because I'm calling a group chat. I'm probably gonna get some complaints from the few people that are in there like, I'm at work, what are you doing? I'm sorry, I don't know. I didn't, I, I want them to be able to join, but Discord works the way it does. I. Oh, Lords is there, so that means that we're probably going to get the camera to the feed. Uh, Le Gasp, a mod extreme. Hey, SPD64, we're going to throw a mod your way, because I definitely... Well, I definitely need as many moder moderators as I can get, that's for sure. Um, what's the difference? Okay. There we go, mod for you. Um, Sonic in the background, go away. Do you mean these? Why? I spray painted them. I like them. We don't want to keep them? Live Lords. Excuse me. What's Excuse that? me. Oh. I'm sending in my complaint. What? I'm at work. Oh, there's the complaint. Okay, so you're watching. Okay. Hi, Kenny. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> uh, oh, Lords is already streaming. Okay, let me uh, not be stupid and get this on the screen here. All right. Um, I'm going to have to do okay. some. I'll join back in a bit. Okay. Thanks for popping in. Work. Oh, of course, anytime. <laughs> okay, let me just make sure I can also see the chat. So give me a sec here. I don't want to forget about you, chat. It would make me sad. Okay, let's see here. All right, pull that up again. Full screen it. Then we're going to go to this scene. Okay, that is definitely... What camera are you using? The real one, Lords? The frame rate's a little low. The frame rate's a little low, though. Any way to up that? Either way, uh, so we'll move on anyway. I just wanted to see how good we can make it look. If either way this works, for sure. Um, and you know what? That's actually a good segue for what I want to talk about here. So, <laughs> Lords, uh, I'm going to try my very best to be nice. Lords assured me that the ink that I used to put the image onto the canvas wouldn't smudge, like it dried really quickly. Like this, you have, you have to use this pen. She's like, you have to use this pen because it dries quick. Like I would have used pencil. That would, I would have liked that better. Oh, is it double music? How? How would that happen? Let's see here. Oh, wait, I can see that. Okay. Okay. Okay, double music. Thank you for the uh, note of who, who did that. Oh, wow. That must have sounded bad. Thank you, uh, Iblo. Iblo, thank you. So, uh, carrying on anyway. So, as you can see, that wasn't the case. Um, was she, she even started from the side of the drawing that... Um, oh, yeah, my cam covers a shoe. I should probably get my face out of there. I should probably not set it up like this. Let's do... Let's let them see the full thing. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, Lords probably wants to show. Yeah, so Lords made a, uh, designed it basically uh, on, on the uh, iPad just to kind of get an idea of where everything will go. Like, for example, she added the moon. Um, she added like a ground that they're jumping to that you can kind of see the explosion reflecting off of underneath Shadow's hand there. Um, just kind of placing it somewhere. Uh, that's not like a dig at, like as we get into the discussion, right? That's not a dig at the image. Lords made a really good point um, to kind of 
<laughs> to kind of, uh, what is it, do damage control for potentially um, going too uh, hard on Lords earlier for the smudging. Um, but Lords had a really good point that because of their, it's like, it's promotional material. It's very likely that like the people who have authority in the room when finalizing that promotional material are like graphic designers. And so the trends in graphic design and what is a trend in like fan art or paintings are very different. And so Lords is just putting more of a story to it because paintings are typically, there's more thought put into them because, you know, it takes more time. The reality is the reason that they have these 3D models that they just keep using over and over and over again and why they haven't changed that much is because they don't want to do that. That's what I love. That, and that's what I hope you guys love too. That's why we want to do this type of live stream with you guys is because right now we're watching Lords. She's going to start from the background. That's what she was telling me before is she hopes one day in the future we'll be able to actually um, put a, what is called a mask over each of the characters, uh, which is basically just protecting the characters after you do the loose uh, trace that you see here. Uh, just so that she can really focus on the background, making sure that her strokes are really loose, uh, but without having to kind of like be careful of losing the um, the information from the sketch. Um, so that's something we're hoping to do in the future. But uh, for now, you're going to see Lords navigating around that, uh, trying to make sure that the background has the uh, appropriate amount of detail, but also trying not to completely obscure the uh, the sketch so we can still um, focus on the characters at the end. Uh, all right, chat. It's time to get into discussion stuff because uh, Lords is at it. So we're just uh, we're just chilling at this point and discussing um, Sonic character designs. Um, but al also the conversation is going to ebb and flow like this is really a, a chill thing. Masking gang. Uh, Evan's Comedy Central Roast of Edible Potatoes. Uh, <laughs> wait, no, I don't. I don't want that reputation. I don't want to. I don't want to do that. Let's let's not, let's not. The only thing, the first thing that came to mind was roasting you for your username, which I know you don't even like, because it just your username just makes me hungry. Uh, yeah, the original image felt like it was missing a logo or something. Sonic and Shadow felt a bit too far to the right or small. Yeah, uh, uh, SBD64, we, uh, Lords and I talked about that. It feels like it's designed to be, I mean, the canvas we're working with is, is just narrower. Like, it's less wide. And it's clearly because that image was designed to be like a desktop background or fit on screens. I mean, that's just the resolution of screens. Um, but what is commonly hung up on a wall for a painting is different. Um, so these are just, we're converting the medium, but we're also talking about that's why I wanted to talk about character design as well Like we're gonna we're setting the boundary right now Right, so that's why I talked about what Lords added to the background, right? That's why you're gonna see her adding more elements that part isn't a dig I definitely have digs on the model for example like the what I just described earlier This is something that you only see with age. Okay, it's just Money and its value is unfortunately something that you don't appreciate until it's something that you have that you you've earned yourself And you know, it's good that kids don't understand that Right, they should be able to live for a time where they don't understand that But since this is a series that you know is marketed to kids Sega knows that they can get away with cutting corners in certain areas like the 3d model and so we're in that this weird like clash of like what's wrong with the model and like there's nothing wrong with it right that's where the conversation is confusing is like there's nothing wrong with it uh dion immediately dropping facts what do you mean jark what do you say first point i hate how dirty their shoes are in the models okay it makes sense for Shadow a little bit on the edges, right? Because, like, I would imagine that the thrust from his boots would, like, no matter how often he, like, kind of, like, you know what I mean? Like, looks after them, they would take damage. But Sonic? you I get, like, a graceful... He, he I feel like... I don't know. In 2D animations, for example, 
his move, his movement is fluid. Even in Mars' stuff, it's fluid, right? It's not abrasive. So I don't know what they're trying to go for, for the gritty shoe texture thing. I don't, especially since, like, when you look at his shoulder and his arm, there's nothing real about that. Like, he's got no neck. So why is somebody telling them, like, the shoe has to have that grit, that realistic, to kind of really connect them to the world like it's just some weird decision like i don't i don't this is where and this is where we're getting into like artsy fartsy discussion because like i i most things are a balance i'm not rigid on everything must have a meaning and like things without meaning like things that are just there because it's fun suck automatically like i'm not on either side like you, there should be uh, intention at the beginning. Um, like, oh, for example, we can plug it into the piece that Lords is making right now. Shadow smiling. Lords and I had a discussion, and we can open this up to you guys. Lords and I had a discussion while making this piece that Lords is like, I don't think Shadow should smile, and he doesn't normally smile. So this is another one of those discussions, right? It's like you can make him frown, but what my rebuttal to that, or my argument, I should say, my argument to that was shadow normally frowns and this piece includes a smile which makes it distinct from other shadow art and since the pose itself is sort of just kind of an action pose like the background's kind of generic right it's just space explosion like he's not doing anything specific holding an iconic uh, item or in an iconic location so it means that there are fewer elements to focus on. So honestly, the centerpiece is him smiling, smirk. But I'm saying, okay, you're absolutely right. It is technically a smirk, but I'm saying that that is the distinct element of this piece that makes it stand out because there are so few elements in it. So that was something I wasn't willing to change because of how few elements are present. Um... So that that actually informed me on what to do with Sonic because I was thinking why is Shadow smiling since it's rare? I I wanted to make Sonic look a little I mean I have you know I have opinions about Sonic so there's definitely biases that impact this choice. However, I wanted to make Sonic like he just convinced Shadow to like help him like do something because They've clearly done something and are go like they're on a team in this pose and they they are clearly coming from the same spot and something has just happened. And for me, I think Sonic is really giddy because he finally like convinced Shadow to like, you know, cooperate. And so I think Shadow just kind of lightly like just lightly happy, but just kind of like just, just sort of like enjoying it, like having a good time. But again, I have opinions about Shadow and how he's betrayed. So that's going to come through in the piece. Um, but yeah, what do you guys think? Should he be, should he be doing his normal kind of, um, you know, his uh, upside down of that? <laughs> uh, or should he be smiling for this piece? Like, what do you guys think? Um, but yeah, definitely people are saying a smirk. I agree. Okay, I concede. Uh, I will say, <laughs> excuse me, let me get water. I will say the reason I, my brain thought smile is because I was thinking of smile frown. Like I was just thinking of it as a gradient. I was generalizing. You guys are like zooming in and we can, we can zoom in further to smirks if you guys want. Like I just see, I feel like that's as far as it goes though. So uh, Shadow's normal scowl makes the ever so rare smirk even cooler. Like how Sonic getting rarely angry is cool. Yeah, right? Um, and that's why I feel like, especially when it's done in an official capacity and the context of what this piece means, they're like shadows back. So I feel like it, he needs to be, there's a little bit of like a meta element to it where he's like, yeah, like <laughs> I'm in a game. I made it in a game, finally. <laughs> like he's, I'm relevant, finally. I knew one day they would care. I don't know about you guys, but I'm definitely, <laughs> I'm that far, so much, there's enough sonic brain rot there for me to think of that. So, let me know if that's you as well. 
It's the year of Shadow. Let him smirk and laugh, right? Shadow smiled more times than I think people remember in SA2. Oh, yeah. It's actually most frequent in SA2. I agree. Wasn't until post-06 where that changed, I think. I would absolutely agree. Eccentric, eccentric scandal? Sandal. Sorry. I said it right the first time. Anyway. Um, yeah, his betrayal changed a lot. He was a lot more... You know what's so funny is when they do interviews about Shadow, like Azuka says, we originally wanted Shadow to be Sonic's opposite. But honestly, he's more Sonic's opposite now than he was when he started. Maybe they meant like that was his character arc, like they wanted him to end up the opposite of Sonic. And I can buy that, but my, my opinion is that currently the opposite of sonic is driving the characters too far apart and i was more interested in when not that they i don't want them to be exactly the same character because that would suck i'm not talking about like i still want contrast trust me i like how they have things to learn from each other but in my opinion right now they're so different that they're never together like it's it's because of the way the betrayal they're going with for Shadow, he doesn't want to. He doesn't want to work with Sonic so much that we never see their dynamic, and that's the part I wish there was enough of a relationship between them where Shadow wouldn't absolutely hate him. Uh, do you, does that? What do you? This is chat. Come on in. Like I. I'm, I gotta open it up at this point because I feel myself going like because like he, It's just too closed off. It's a little too closed off which which closes the door to The opportunity These care these colors look so good already lords It's I knew this was to be it would be appealing to look at And it's just gonna get more and more appealing as we go uh, Fizzle says when it comes to shadows betrayal the only person I believe has the final say is Shiro Mikawa. Is final say is Shiro Mikawa as he wrote Shadow's character all the way up to 06. Shadow hasn't been the same since he left. Well, they barely did anything with him at all after he left, Fizzle. You know what? In a weird way, I feel like that's probably. I wouldn't be surprised. Azuka, I'm convinced Azuka cares more about Shadow than Sonic. Not gonna lie. But again, that's that's a biased thing. But this is my this again. This is going in the ter to territory where it's like Evan thinks this happened. But I would not be surprised if the reason because Sha he loves Shadow and he he took control of Sonic in around the 2010s and sh where's Shadow? He loves Shadow. He was so involved in designing Shadow. So I think because the guy that was normally kind of. He even talks about, like, the writer, the guy you're talking about, uh, let me, sorry. I want to make sure I pronounce the name right. It's not, Mikawa, yeah. Shiro Mik Mikawa, he even talks about it like he's, like, hearing the voice of Shadow, which is, it's like a flow state of when you're writing. Like, it just comes naturally. But, like, that would make sense that Azuka would be, like, because Azuka was involved in the creation of him, so he would be involved in that decision to choose him. And so when he can't work on the character... Like, so there was some respect there, is basically what I'm saying. Um, I feel like I've heard something about them being on uh, that same writer, being on Sonic X Shadow Generations. Chat, can we confirm this fact? I love your profile pic, by the way. I think it's Fizzle. Probably talking to Fizzle. I, it's, it's a good profile pic. Evan Theory? I mean... Well, what's a discussion stream if not just theorizing a bunch of stuff? You know what I'm saying? Azuka said it himself. I mean, I try to... I mean... I, I feel like a, an element, not the only element, but an element of why anyone would still be watching me after all these years is like, well... He's just accumulated experience uh, of things that have happened. So let's just try to, like, anticipate what's next together, right? Like... That's that's a part of it. At least, it's fun for me. Like, what do you guys think? You know, we try to accumulate as much knowledge as possible. 
The one on the bottom, Evan? Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'll be honest. I didn't realize you could see that. It's definitely me, though. Yeah, it's definitely me. I just didn't know what you were talking about, but that makes way more sense that you're talking about that. <laughs> uh, are you excited for the murder of Shadow the Hedgehog? That would be so... They should do that tomorrow. That's a good idea. Though it's a little... You know, that team, the team that made Murder of Sonic the Hedgehog is so capable that I bet they, they're capable of more. Like, they could do something more original. But in terms of if they wanted to ride the uh, excitement that that game created, they could just de do another one. I would have no problem if it was, like, a similar... Like, update the art, obviously, but, like, a similar premise. Time to ask the real question, says Jark. Who's playing Shadow in the movie? Well, obviously they want us talking about that. Um, there was rumors about the... Um... I'm bad with names, okay? I know ex I can see his face in my imagination right now, I promise you. Luke Skywalker from the, like, not super old Star Wars movies. The, like, newer ones. The ones that, like, I grew up with. Not my parents. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Uh, that guy. I just don't know his name. And then this is where the chat in like two minutes says the guy's name. That's because you don't have two monitors that are full of stuff for streaming, okay? You can just Google it up. All right? <laughs> there it is. Hayden Christensen. Yeah. Sefer. There needs to be, like, honestly, if I ever do giveaways, it's not going to be like, I'm not going to be like, I'm not going to be like, giveaway, giveaway. It's just going to be like, I only want to introduce giveaways if it's like every time so you could just expect it. I don't have to say anything and I just give it to people like that who help me like it's like impromptu. It's like, yo, you're going to get something. You know what I mean? Instead of the weird like raffle thing, we're going to randomly like, come on, like you want. <laughs> also, I'm thinking about like all the times I'm unfortunately my, my experience live streaming has led me to the conclusion that for whatever reason the chat just like loves to watch the streamer suffer <laughs> and so i want to incentivize a little help because i know that some suffering is inevitable so we got to offset some of that suffering that will happen at some point it's fun suffering like playing through a crappy sonic level or whatever it is or having a something that's way too spicy <gasps> We saw Pog, we're seeing Lords, we're seeing your glasses. Lords jump scare. Oh. <laughs> oh, we're seeing it again. I guess she, I guess she's not hiding from the camera. All right. I thought she was going to like try to like jolt away from it. Wow, she's really trying to be careful not to um lose that sketch there. Lord's glasses reveal we won. Yeah, stuff like that gets people's hopes up, and I think it's just better to be presently surprised to one person. Oh no, I gotta remember what you were talking about. Taking as many notes. <laughs> Tomorrow, taking as many notes as possible to help Evan's life so I can win a $2 Sonic plushie. No, we don't want it to be. It'll be a random thing. It'll be a random thing every time. You'll never know. Oh my God, girl, says Nicole. Yo. So I don't know if anyone noticed. Uh, but the remix playlists that we're listening to are a little bit of a throwback. I wonder if anyone can guess where they're from before I just tell you. Samaro, you didn't think Lords was real? What are you talking about? Lords' glasses as Shadow's VA. Okay, so I wanted to talk about Shadow's actual model itself. I actually could probably just pull it up right on the screen. Here. 
if I download it? I thought I downloaded it. Oh, I did. Ooh, it's just not transparent. That's fine. As long as I put it not covering the painting. There it is. It was covering the painting for a little bit, but sorry. Okay, so I just feel like... So I want to make it really clear because I know a lot of people do this. I know a lot of people. Like, it's... it's. I, I know a lot of people are, like, just tired of it. So I'm not doing... Th this is why it's just the image on screen for a little bit. Like, it's not going to be there long. Um, My main thing at this point, after all these years, is what I said at the beginning. These characters are so simple. They're, they're, the, the, the work to tweak the models is relatively low compared to other video game characters. Like, even in general, right? Which is why they're fun to draw. Because you can take the simple elements and play with them. That's why simple characters are so appealing for companies because it allows them to take the simple iconic design and put it at make it transform it into a backpack but they still know what it is right a wallet or whatever it is you can recognize it from far away from upside down from wherever right and we want to we want to win a little bit more as fans so for me i'm not going to be like like i get it everyone's got a different model they like i totally i get it but that's not what i'm talking about i'm saying the models, this model, the reason people like it is because they did a little bit of lighting and they almost never do that. For example, this is no better than the forces render that ended up on the um, magazine cover. I'm going to pull it up. It's a live stream. I got to pull it up. I'm going to do it. Let's see here. Let me find it without screwing up my screen share. Uh, let's see, Sonic Forces, I'm trying to figure out what that, uh, Japanese magazine that they're always in, Famitsu? I'm, I think I'm getting, like, Dragon Ball things mixed up. It's something else. No, it, is it? Well, it came up. Oh, it was, I was right. Okay, wow, I gotta trust myself more often. Okay, I'm gonna pull it up, and if you have no idea what I'm talking about, don't worry, I'm gonna put it on the screen. So the shadow render that we're seeing, in my opinion, is really like no different in quality than this. Right here, covering everything. Well, actually, the Lord's thing is pretty safe, actually. So I feel like it's about the same. You know what I mean? Like, it's just dynamic lighting. They, they bend his, like, model a little bit. But, like, the overall shapes are the same. Like, they're still just kind of... They're still just kind of riding on the overall model. And if I was a visual artist and they took, well, I am a visual artist. <laughs> I'm saying that if I was a visual artist for Sega and a drawing, like if I was Yuji Okawa, for example, and they could, they could take my 2D drawings and position them in any way, in the same way they can with a 3D model, I guarantee you, Yuji, Yuji Kawa would also be like, nah, I draw better now. Let me update your model. That's all I'm talking about. When you, so the, the discourse we're having is that it's literally, it just, it looks cheap and I want, and, and, and the problem is that everyone's experience on what looks cheap is going to be really different. And that's what they the division of, oh, I like this model, I like that model, I like the model from from when I was a kid, oh, this, this, that. They they feast on that because it allows them to delegitimize delegit asking for more. Because the reality is, like, we're ju just play around. The same way that all of you, when you draw the characters, play around, play around with the Sonic character designs. Even the 3D artists in the community, they play around with the models, right? There are very few people that try to emulate exactly the official style. There are, there are some people who do it, 
but most 3D artists in the Sonic community mess around with it because that's fun. And Sonic should be fun. Like, that's literally all it is. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. And I, I don't think we should let it be like, SA2 model, this model, that model, dude. I guarantee you, they get an artist in there that cares about it. And they, like, the artist is going to look at the model that you see up here. And they're going to try to build on top of that. In the same way that when Jason Griffith started as Sonic, they were like, this is what Ryan sounded like. Use this, but we have some other ideas. Same mentality. I prefer Ryan, but the ball rolls. You know what I mean? We we gotta keep it going. We gotta we gotta keep this going. I'll play the music again. Uh, at first, I was I I know we're losing the picture. I know I had to do that. Uh, so let's we have many. Oh, did anyone figure out what these these playlists were from? Oh no, I gotta. It won't let me. Uh, let's see here. I got so many remix play, playlists. Is, does anyone remember what these are from? Anyone have, have any ideas? Maybe when I play the next one, you guys will. Uh, let's see. What other playlists do I got? Oh, this is a good one. Okay, so uh, now that I've basically talked about that, like. I don't want to see the model on my screen and it's not because it's bad. Like I remember being younger Oh, I, this music's probably a little too loud, isn't it? I remember being younger and not caring and like shadow doesn't even really look that bad because He's not as expressive. So it doesn't hit me as hard Um, It's not I don't like it's not that I don't like the models. I just it's just nothing. It's faded into the background you know when something has been there so long that you just don't see it? That's what it is. It's just nothing to me. And people that haven't stared at it for as long as I have probably can't, don't know what I'm talking about. But that's why I'm talking about the part where it's like this model, that model, this model, that model. I'm talking to those people when I say that because it's like, that's the confusing part. Don't. Don't let that stress you out. Like, oh, are they gonna go backwards? Like, I totally get that. Kind of like, why would they do that? It's just about playing with the characters, having fun with it. I, I guarantee you, this is not as divisive as it seems. There's no way. There absolutely is no way this is as divisive as it seems to be. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? I'm throwing it back to you. Show me some new, fresh blood, says Dion. Hire more fans, Sega. I mean, yeah. Yeah, Fizzle. But also, I mean, I definitely think there should be a care for Sega and Sonic. Um, and how they go about proving that in the hiring process, I don't know. I think they should be transparent about how they choose. Not, like, entirely transparent, but... They're, like, uh, for example, I don't know for sure that the people working on Sonic right now, I don't know what their experience is. I want to know more about people we don't see. Like, hey, I'm, like, for example, the people who made the, the, the image we're painting, we're painting right now. It'd be really cool to be like, this is like how we decided what we wanted to do. I hope they do that. I feel like it's like a little too mysterious. All right, chat stuff. Uh, the Colors Ultimate render they made is phenomenal, considering it's the current model. I don't love that render too much, Eccentric Scandal. Sandal? <sighs> I did it right the first time. Eccentric Sandal. Um, I don't like that render that much. I know, I definitely appreciate, though, I do appreciate that his face has been played around with. So when I look at it, I see it. I think this is a good imagery. Like, maybe if you guys are like stuck in these conversations about the character design, maybe try that. Like when you see something so much, you just don't see it anymore. 
because that illustrates why there might be different point of views in the discussion someone might be like oh you know what like yeah like i haven't seen it as long as you have and you've been in the community longer um and i'm just familiar with it so that's why i like it i'm sure that if they tried one or two new things i might like it you know what i mean like that's the common ground like that's the way that's what it is that's how we win it's just it's so clear to me it is just so clear and so this is the thing is like when i see this promotional material and I want, I, I don't know. Like I said, when I showed you the Forces one, that's 2017, it's 2024. You know, these two. Like, come on. People, are, we know those are years apart, like 2017 and 2024. We, we know that, but there's no difference. And any artist will be like, what? You know what I'm saying? Well, I just realized chat is not on the screen for this. And there's like a space for it. We're figuring it out. Uh, give me a sec. Oh, Lords is behind me. Where, where are you going? Let me make sure I'm using the right chat. Chat. Okay. Add browser source. Are you gonna jump scare me? I got headphones on. Okay. How bad does it look? Oh, what do you mean bad? You mean quality? The no, I mean the uh, camera. I have the good. Oh yeah. It's Okay, so my idea is I can put it to OBS and then screen share my OBS and it'll give higher quality because that's like pretty bad. Wait, you're gonna... I don't understand. Just just tell me what to do because I don't understand. No, you don't have to do anything right now. I'm not gonna do it. Okay, so you're gonna improve? What, is it out of focus? Well, doesn't it look blurry? I think it is. It looks blurry, yeah. But it's also... Th th you don't have clear details yet. You don't have clear details on the canvas yet. Me. The chat text is so small. Sam was Sam was cooking with that stuff. I think for now I'm just gonna like make it bigger. I don't even know. Oh, Dion's here. You don't even know who's in chat? No, I, I'm focusing. Oh, that's probably good. Lord's cameo. All right, that chat looks pretty good. Do you want me to feed them? The animals? Oh yeah, yes please. Okay. Um. So Lords has done a really good job like trimming around the characters right now so we can see their shapes. Honestly, I don't think it's that out of focus. I think uh, I think my eyes are blurring the colors because the pink that's like that's what that's what happens with like reddish colors. Is your eyes will like have a hard time focusing on them. That's why in a um you never want to use like red as a font. It's really hard to read red, especially if the uh font is really thin. Like, if you're going to use red, it's got to be bold. That's why stop signs, the back is red, the text is white. Which one do I shoot? What are you talking about? Well, who's the real lords? Uh, there was more than one? What are you talking about? It's literally just them doing the bare minimum. That's all it takes to see such a leap, albeit a small one. Yeah, right? And that's the problem. They want... Eccentric sandal, that's exactly how they want it, guys. And this is all I'm talking about. They're setting the bar low on purpose, and they're desensitizing you to the bar being low. So then when you're going like, what's wrong with it? You're not wrong. Like, you really aren't. Like, it's, I don't, they want us to be mean to you. So you'd be like, why are they being mean to me? Like, I just like the way Sonic looks. And that's okay. There are people who love the way Sonic looks right now. And that is okay. They, you are, you don't have like a bad opinion. There are things good about that model. I just can't see and appreciate them at all because it's overexposure. It's so all I see are the problems. And I'm sure I'm not alone, but that is why there's the, the point of views don't align and they benefit from that. Once we level up media li literacy, that much as they don't want, then we get better. We get better stuff. That's literally how it works. Like, for example, we were getting like meta era stories. And then once enough people were like, Sonic can tell good stories. Like when enough people were like, yeah, you can do that. That is not only OK, it's great. They delivered. That's just how it works. Like just wanting more. Um, we gotta keep the conversation like that. Like, just simple. 
Streamline. Critical and hype, right? Strategy. But positive. Because while people on social media engage with negativity, it doesn't do anything. It doesn't manifest in any action. It's it's very alluring because that's as far as it goes. The interaction and the, and the gossip and the discussion. But it goes nowhere. Positivity is when you get it right, everybody wants a piece of that. Everybody wants to kind of use it as a platform or something, right? So that's how we need, if we are genuinely trying to help improve Sonic and our intentions are to see it do better, it's got to be designed to spread and create change. And so there has to be, you got to have some selflessness. You got to take yourself out of it. I want rubber hose, bouncy Sonic Adventure. <laughs> that I don't. I'm. That's not what I'm talking about. I haven't mentioned it. Okay. I always try to express my biases to you guys. We're about strategy around those parts. We're about strategy. Stoops. Oh wow. We got, oh we saw Lords of Food. You better show that off. Wait. No. We can tell how hot. Wait, the focus is good, actually. I can tell because I'm looking at something real. Because the paint is just out of focus in general. Yeah, your hand looks great. It's just the frame rate that's a little bit bad. You don't have, like, sharp details on the art itself, so we can't see it. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, thank you for feeding the animals, lords. Um, I was reading Stoops. Okay, Stoops. I don't think the model is bad. It's just a death by a thousand paper cuts kind of thing. There's so much small things wrong with the current model to the point I hate looking at it. Right, Stoops. And, and that's probably what I'm experiencing, right? Which is only exaggerated by staring at it for longer, right? When... You know what I mean? Like you, you just you you'll pick it up. It almost snowballs your your knowledge of it of its limitations, and that's just how art works, right? Like it, it, that that's only only going to be exaggerated by the fact that I draw Sonic, and not just sometimes, a lot. <laughs> um, and so you're going to see those flaws more and more. But if you just if you if you have a passive engagement, not with Sonic, there are people who have a very and this is where the disconnect comes from comes from. There are people who have a very nuanced and deep understanding of Sonic because they play the games, they watch the shows, but they're not paying attention specifically to the design, like that really close. Like when you're just drawing them once, like when you saw my time lapse with Shadow for so long, that level. When you don't do that specific thing where it takes hours to get just the right look, it's just you're not it's you don't look at Sonic from the same point of view that someone who does that will and so we're looking at the same model the model is good it's good like that is true like it, it is functional it works but we're seeing two different things and those two people should not fight as often as they do they don't have to because I guarantee those two people could really get along if Sega spends a fraction of the money that they are able to on promotional material. I like, I just, I know like, because, and this is because what I've asked for is so specific just to play with the designs and so small and simple and like needle laser specific. How could you not? Come on. You know, they can do that. I'm not asking them, we need an adventure remake and it's got to be exactly like this and that and it needs multiple playable characters. Like, that's where we used to be years ago, guys. We don't, we can't do that. that, that did we get Adventure 3? Did it work? No. <laughs> um, but we got serious stories in Sonic games and that came from just kind of like talking about how, yeah, it doesn't have to be Saturday morning cartoon. It can be a little bit more uh, artful. Chat time. I would recommend Burnt Cena as an undercoat painting based off my oil painting experience. Yeah, I, th I don't think you're using oil paints though. Um, these are acrylic? Are you using acrylic lords? Yes, acrylic. 
um acrylic dries faster and i think that that is because i think that's really tied to how lords paints lords could probably explain it better uh but she her mic is really bad in the room she's in um but i definitely that's all i know about the difference between acrylic and oil is that oil takes a really long time to draw wait oil takes a long time to dry oop sorry that was a brain melting moment uh fizzle says evan needs to somehow join sega we need more neutral folks in the community i just okay here's context I, this is i don't know i wouldn't be able to do what i do if i worked for sega like i i'm passionate about this right now not dreaming about being able to do it at sega like right now because the only way I can do what I'm doing right now is being a fan. Um, and I have enough experience to know that. Um, so so it, this is where we do it. Like we gotta do, we gotta do it here. And now uh, I gotta grow this channel, obviously. That's the part that's up to me um, so that we can, um, in the same way on Tails channel, we can kind of um, reach enough people. The Tails channel was never like, super huge and algorithmic uh, viewership, but I want to build like a nice little community. Uh, so hopefully you guys uh, enjoy this. Like for example, I'm I'm having such a, a much better time watching Lords fill in these colors because I already figured out everything on the shapes of these characters. And that part is so, again, it's, it's all plugged into the discussion we're having, right? It takes so long for me. So long. But if I worked at Sega, I did official Sonic art, there would be, I'd have a deadline. It might not turn out like this. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, this is when I can decide everything, minus the initial concept, which was from Sega official. But we're talking about official renders, and we're also talking about how I see them, how you guys see them. So what better visual aid than this? Like, I mean, I don't, I don't know. I like this stream is probably gonna be more relevant than the other streams we do, but this is the general idea of what I wanna do is some sort of discussion topic. It won't always be about designs cause that'll get tiring. Um, but hopefully the image is relevant. If not, it'll just be Sonic or, and sometimes the Lords, we, we definitely wanna let Lords just be able to work on her just actual paintings too. Cause um, you know, it's just an art stream. It's just nice to chat and have... This is like the, uh... The weird, like, uh... Slime videos and the, like, Subway Surfers. Like, this is just for you guys to, like... Because me just, like, on camera talking is not enough. It's just not. Like, we... Our attention spans all of us. Like, not even just... I'm not even just talking about you guys. I'm talking about me, too. We need the... We need the crazy throw-it-all-away Sonic music in the background that we got right now. We need the Sonic art with bright and vibrant colors going on. We need the chat on screen with a bunch of Sonic fans around talking about Sonic. We need guy going, whoa, 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 and moving his hands too much. Like, that's what we need. Like, it's the only way it's gonna work. Potats, Evan and Lord storm Sega building and take over. <laughs> nah, it's not gonna work. Uh, though I would love to work with Sega in the same capacity that I did in, on speed strats, right? Like, I think that that's a really good relationship to have. Um, it just sucks when people assume that it's like, there's no middle ground. Like, oh, you work at Sega now and you know everything. It's like, what? Like, what are you talking about? Like, can you, like, imagine that's you, right? Sega throws you a bone, lets you do something, but you also want to, like, speculate with the fans. But the, but the fans are like, no, you, you actually know, though. <laughs> but so you can't you get one bone and now you just don't get to speculate ever again like you just know everything doesn't make any sense there are, believe it or not there are very few people who are just like actually believe that the reality is that it's 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 one job you will know when someone has a job at sega like if there's different things like some guy appearing in one of their YouTube videos doesn't mean they're on the staff.
We need a small version of SA1 playing on the corner. Right, one day. We're just gonna add more and more uh, windows as we go through. I can move this a bit. There we go. Oh man. Wonder, can I make the art bigger? Hide my display picture. Sorry, chat. I know you like my display picture, but we like the art more. Yeah. Okay, that's probably better. Sorry. Uh, Jorno says exaggeration is a key for promotional art uh, the limbs go wild or push the edges of the limbs to be stylish in-game model should focus on easier time for animation and to read the character's action absolutely absolutely agree um, let me just break that down a little bit more because it's a very it's a very meaty statement you got a lot of a lot of stuff to unpack there. So like exaggerating the limbs and stuff, that's that's what you saw me do. I don't know if you were here earlier, uh, just quietly observing. Um, but in my process, I started with really exaggerated limbs, um, but I realized it took away from the direction in which he's jumping. Um, so I could really only exaggerate the, the front hand, which it is more exaggerated here than in the refer reference image, which is right here. Uh, you'll see that in mine, in my sketch that Lords is painting over right now, the, his arm is so much longer and, and further down. And comparing the face of the 3D model one and the hand, their scales are around, like they take up around the same space. The hand is a little bit smaller than the face, so his head is a little bit more forward in the 3D. Whereas in mine, his hand is a little bit more forward and exaggerated and larger than his face. However, in my design of Shadow, like in what I think, like when, pe when people say 06 model is like goaded, I don't, I don't, ab I don't absolutely agree. Like I, I see similar flaws that I do to the current model, but I do like the, I'm unfortunately on the crowd that I do kind of like it when Sonic is a little bit taller, but I think 06 Sonic is too lanky. Like he looks too skinny. But, but I think current Sonic is too puffy. So like, this is definitely me being like, oh, it's some, like, it's just me kind of being picky, which is why my firm statement on this whole discussion is just kind of like, let them mess around with it. Like, don't cheap out on it. Like I, like I like the changes they made to the model for Frontiers, but there's not enough. It's just that stop tip, 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 toeing. Like, it's just so, Get, go for it. Go. Stop being so scared. Do something. And it's time, right? So remember, okay. I don't know how many of you guys have followed me for like all the discussions I've done, even on Tails' channel. But like the context going into Frontiers was, okay, you... We, we've seen the graphs. We know that passively from the Sonic movie and the Sonic movie 2, people, like kids bought past Sonic games and current Sonic games, so their sales went skyrocketing. And we knew that their earnings were way up. So what I was saying, the simple thing I was trying to say is like, we gotta see that jump. That's the simple thing. We gotta see that same jump. Well, we're in a similar spot now, but, we, that, but it's different because it's not from a movie passively into their games. This is a game that sold considerably more than the past ones that have come out. So that's a direct investment into the same type of media. So if the bar is only slightly raised from Frontiers, that's bad. Do you know what I'm, that's what, that's how, what I'm saying. Like that's in the same way that if the bar didn't raise that much from Forces to Frontiers, that's what I'm saying. Like, if we got another Forces, like, even if you liked Forces, considering the context, if we got something just a little better than Forces, that's not it. That's not it. Like, that's a lose. That's a loss. For the current market, no one wants that. Eccentric 
a sandal again. I wonder if when the hopefully inevitable animated Sonic film is made under Paramount. Animated, okay. Uh, it'll be stylistically different and unique enough to influence change in Sonic Team's current approach. I would be surprised if they get the rights to do that. I feel like Sega would want a piece of that with their own animation studios in Marza because Sega invests a lot of money in that animation studio and they make films. I wouldn't be surprised if there was some obstacles in Paramount getting that. Like they have the film rights and they probably will go with Paramount, but I'm talking about like the actual creative direction will be more tied directly to what Sonic is doing officially, even in that scenario. So we would see the impacts immediately. There wouldn't be a delayed uh, influence in the way that the, we saw from the movies, like from the movies to for Frontiers, where we, he has that like overclock animation or whatever, whatever it is when he maxes out his rings. I forget what the actual term is. Sorry, sorry, I don't know everything. Potats, what was that game called? Sega All-Stars? Yeah, that game has the definitive Sonic. Oh, Sega All-Stars, that model. Yeah, but that's lower poly. So like the newer fans coming in can look at that and be like, even if I like the low poly look, like what does that tell me? Like in today's context, like what does that tell? I get it, I totally get that argument. It's low poly, like it's, it's dated. So all they see is it's old. That's why I'm not standing behind that. I agree so firmly with you, Patats. Like I do. When I look at the, when I look at the Sega All Stars model, I go, "That, that's it. That's him." And then it switches to the current one, and I'm like, "That's not him." But that's me. You know, it's like, we, we. I think there needs to be a boundary. Like there needs to be like, there needs to be an understanding that like, other people can't see it that same way. Shadow is looking really good. Uh, Lord says black blur 37. I agree, right? And we can tell that the camera is in fact in focus Because we can see the shapes and everything. Uh, I honestly think it's the uh, I don't want to bother with it. Actually, I can look at the stream on my phone is, is the camera a little dark for you guys But Lord can probably manually turn up the exposure a little bit but I think I'm just gonna leave it. I'll let Lords focus on what she's doing. My screen settings are a little weird too, so I might just be like waffling about some nonsense. They should bring back Julian K for shadow music. Jark, I'm so desensitized to Sonic music that I probably, were they just playing Julian K? I, they might've been, cause we're. this is a Shadow the Hedgehog playlist. Did anyone figure out what these playlists are from yet? Okay, I'll just tell you. I keep like teasing it. They're from Perfect Redesigns. So this was from the Perfect Shadow redesign stream on my channel. This was probably the same music that played on the countdown screen. So yeah, there, there you go. <laughs> um, The chat doesn't look great. It's hard to read the way it's all set up here. Hmm. I'm gonna, I gotta fix the chat in the future. I think I'll just uh, keep it like that for now though. You're gonna change your name real quick. Then I don't. Then I won't know who you are. Did I say? Wait, I said black blur. Is it because I'm thinking shadow? Like, am I being like conditioned to be a shadow fan right now? I'm. Maybe you liked it. I mean, maybe just for the year of shadow, you're black blur. But they did. There was a bio that literally said shadow is the black blur. It's like the only time they ever said that. So Lords, I on the trace, I really messed up Sonic's face. Um, I need you to know that because I'm hoping you fix it. <laughs> Cause in my drawing, like in my um, time lapse I showed you guys, I, I did it. I nailed it. It's just like, it was even harder than getting Shadow's quills and face right. At least for the tracing. Um, because of the way we were tracing it, um, I had to like look through a phone and it was really hard to get it exact. And that's the thing with a simple character design, one little problem messes everything up. I don't know if you want to look at the reference image lords while you're doing Sonic's face, like while you're sculpting it out, just so you would know, or you could just see what's wrong with it by looking at it. 
but I just know that when I looked at it, I was like, that, I did it. That's a Sonic face. Please don't call him the Black Blur. His blue isn't even, sorry, the, the heart on the chat covers the word. You guys can even see it on the stream. I, why does it do that? I can't see what, until someone else says something. I can't see his blue, his blur isn't even black, right? His blur is yellow. Oh, you're talking about shadow. See, now I know. YouTube chat, oh yeah, right? Like it's like, why are you like this? The Pervy redesign streams were awesome. Yeah, I, I hope to bring them back one day, but I wanna think, I mean, I already know how I can like innovate them and stuff. It's just uh, a matter of doing it. Yeah, the heart sucks. I mean, I like that there's a button that kind of functions as like an audience so they can like interact. It's like I want more stuff. Like how cool would it be if they, you could actually like applaud? Or, or laugh or I don't know. I, I I literally have experience performing on stage. And of course, the idea of a live stream, it, you know, if you're gonna think of new features to add to make YouTube feel fresh, there should at least be options to better emulate a live experience if you want to. So I definitely know that some people probably like the fact that it's different than a live setting. I, I understand that, uh, but a virtual version of a live performance would be also very cool. Uh, that's, I really like Discord stages, um, but I don't think Discord stages have added camera support yet. It's almost like I I want both things. I don't have that button. Really? What? How? You have a, maybe you have a plugin or something? Why is Shadow's blur yellow? It's a good question. And why is SBO's blue? I don't even know if that's still the case. Right, like that could have been a bug because isn't the only time, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait, wait, wait a minute. No, Jark, don't they fix SBO's jump aura in Shadow the Hedgehog? I'm almost, I think they do. I think they do. Uh, wait a minute, uh, I think, Oh man, someone's someone's gotta someone's gotta look it up. Okay, <laughs> I can't do this right now. I'm pretty sure though. This is I don't know why, but like pride is on the line for this stupid color. <laughs> but shadow, I don't know why it's yellow. I like that it's yellow. Like I would be upset. Like for example, when his boost aura. In why are you just showing us your hand? Oh, that it's messy. Thumbs down. What, did you, you were smudging the drawing? Thumbs down? I don't know why you're showing us this. Good. Good. You're gonna punch the drawing, be careful. That's our income, be careful with that. Be careful with the merchandise. It's not our only income, don't worry. Just checked. Espio's in Shadow the Hedgehog. It's still Cyan? No! Oh, God. Really? Ain't that trivia for you. It's like very light blue. So it's the same as Heroes. Darn. It does look nice as yellow. I mean, at least the Chaos Spear is yellow. But like, then when they started int introducing blue, the music is really loud, isn't it? It got really loud all of a sudden. Oh my god, the volume isn't even that loud on it. That track is just so loud. Oh, we're on like the last song of the playlist. I was gonna skip the song, but I'm like, I can't. <laughs> I can't do it. I couldn't. I'm sorry. I like this one a lot. See, this is what I was talking about earlier. I feel like I never see Sonic and Shadow together. Like, I, I'm almost positive that in Sonic X Shadow Generations, we're not gonna see them together. Like, it's literally gonna be Shadow doing his own thing, bundled with Generations. And like, I, I genuinely like Shadow, guys. I do. I like Sonic more. But like, there has to be more people 
that like Sonic and Shadow, right? You'd think there's more people. So why do they keep trying to appeal to both people separately? I love them together so much. Like, I don't even care if like Sonic's barely, like I get, like there might be Shadow fans that love Shadow a lot and they want this moment to be his. Sure, Shadow Generations should mostly be his. I'm just telling you that I think Sonic's not even gonna be there like barely at all. And like, man, why? Like even in the comics, th this is why I think so, because even in the comics, they're barely together. Like they just don't, it's like their desire to make Shadow like so independent and like a badass. He's just so alone, and and it's 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 taking away from his. It, it, we don't get to see him shine. We don't get to see him contrast the other characters as often. He's always monologuing to himself. Like he, he's not even with Team Dark as mo often, and that was at least like okay, well, it's at least like cause Sonic and Rouge are similar in their functionality with sh Shadow on screen. So when Rouge is there, it's, it, it works. That's why when sh when Rouge and Sonic and Sonic Battle interact, it's like, it's really interesting because you know that's hard to write. Cause you're like, I have to, I have to find a way. Cause they're both the most set socially intelligent characters. They, they use, in my opinion, and in, in that era, I'm pretty firm on this, but in that era, Sonic was, was portrayed to be less flawed, not that he wasn't flawed at all, less flawed because he was more meant to be idolized by more characters and less set up to be, a, um, set up to, to tell jokes for good humor. Like I, this is just a different intention and way to use Sonic. In Sonic Battle, it was the era where they're using him as a socially intelligent character that can navigate social situations in a way that would be admirable for most people. Um, and so, Rouge is similar in that she's able to navigate social situations pretty effectively and get what she wants because that's part of her cunning traits. So both of those characters, they share those traits, so writing them is hard. It's just, it takes more skill because it's two characters, like who wins? It's a tug of war. It's, it's harder to make that feel really real and satisfying for people that are fan of both fans of both characters that's why you never see them together um sonic and shadow aren't like that like writing them together is not as challenging like they're designed in like i said like rouge and shadow are put together because they actually play off each other and so writing they, them interacting is easier to be believable and faithful to what people expect sonic is the same but because like they're so focused on him being the opposite of Sonic. He's always, he's super like not, like Sonic has got the friendship piece and Shadow's got the like independent piece, which again, like that's a good message to be independent, but it's like too much, too much focus on how they can't be together that we never get to see them together. So anyway, enough of that. Uh, new playlist. <clears throat> So that's like my shadow playlist. So I don't really think I have another relevant one. What else do I got? They're all good playlists though. I only, only pick the best. Oh, this is just a generic one, I'm sure. Let's see. Anybody like Sega Sonic the Hedgehog? This song's pretty good. But even if you don't know Sega Sonic the Hedgehog, you'll recognize this from Sonic Mania Plus, specifically. Or at least the melody. Perfect Shattuck said, Shadow is a thousand percent gotta be a main character or just overall more important in the next Sonic game for sure. Oh, and he will. He will. Like, the characters that are included in each Sonic game are very, it's very strategic, right? Like. The, the Sonic Tails Knuckles Amy was really pushed consistently throughout last year. 
Um, which is why people are kind of valid on being confused as to why Amy might not be in movie three. Start to talk about movie three. That might be a good idea. But um, I'm pr I am on the side of I think Amy will be in there. I think they're saving Amy's reveal because strategically, strategically announcing, like revealing all the characters that are going to be included is not a good move. And since it's releasing around Christmas, they're going to, they need to have stuff like that more than they used to, to really go, no, 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 pay attention to us. Shadow will do that, but everybody knows that he's in it. So they're 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 starting they're front facing with that, right? That, that's 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 the number one thing they're leading with. But they need some stuff in the tank, and I still think we'll get Amy. Here's why: because it's a it's a strategic thing. Um, I don't think they're going to include Amy because of how important she is to Sonic Adventure 2's story. Again, this is like we have to disconnect what we want as fans from the strategy of it. Because from the trailer description we've gotten already, it's very clear that it's not going to be just verbatim SA2. It's, it'll be, it'll have hype SA2 moments, I'm sure, but the structure, the skeleton of the story is gonna be what the writers wanna tell and genuinely think would, would follow up after the second movie. You can tell from the first two movies that there is a, there is just like a film script under it, like with core beliefs on how Paramount feels a story for a movie like this should be told. However, they're doing a really good job at adding enough of that Sonic feeling, at least for most people, you know there's discourse about this, but for most people to enjoy it as a Sonic fan as well. That has been the strength of the Sonic movie is walking that very fine line um, and th the third movie will be no exception. So they're going to, you're going to see elements sa in the same way that Sonic Movie 2 added elements from Sonic 3 and Knuckles or Sonic 2, but it was in, in the, in the, with the intention of telling the story they want to tell. We, let's just hope Live and Learn's in there, you know, live, well, let's just hope Live and Learn is one of those things that they decide to take. Because if they don't, Why? Because I'm, I'm with most people where it's like, take the Sonic music. You don't have to take everything, but the music. You, I'm, we're not even, I'm not even saying no rap or whatever is trendy. Like, sure, I, I have an appetite for enough of that going to a Paramount movie. Whatever. I would I'd rather not, but whatever. You can have some of it, but there's no reason you can't have way more Sonic melodies in there. It's not like people are allergic to not knowing what every melody is. No, this isn't totally whoever is hired as the film composer. So in this context, Junkie, they they want to be the one who came up with the melody. And that's cool. So he was the one that came up with the movie Sonic theme jingle melody. Good. And we, I loved the first and second movie. But now we're on the third one. Let's use some of the melodies you made, like you pat on your back, like you did it, like, and I actually like them. It's it, it's fun for me to, like, and I want Movie Sonic to have some of his own stuff, because it's fun for fans to do, like, like what if we, they did, oh, this song. Um, I like it when fans do, like, a classic Sonic version of the Movie Sonic theme, like, that's fun. So, yes, I want Movie Sonic to have distinct melodies and stuff, and, like, Junkie can be the guy who does it, but, like, Tribute the thing. Tribute Sonic. It's a Sonic movie. Let us let us jam out to the music. Uh, Dion says, Zavik would be a peak after credits reveal. Everyone agrees. You are trolling me. Uh, live and learn will be something that Tom says. No, Sonic. It's all about living and learning. Calling it now, says Dion. No, if he does that, I'm gonna be so mad. I, and it's not in the movie. No, no. That's so bad. Another Wachowski family saying no, no. Don't do it. It does sound like something you would say though. Shit. It's so over, isn't it? 
There's no time for games, Sonic. You won't even get the chance. In that fucking fishing boat. Oh my god, Jark. Help me! Don't do this to me! It's just movie two with Shadow. You think so, you good, you good Tyler? You think that's all it's gonna be? Oh my god, Evan is live! I'm live! And, and I'm alive. But I'm also live. And alive. Yeah, I want I want to do more exactly this. Where Lords is painting and I already spent... It was literally like an entire afternoon, guys. On this drawing, like, oh my god. Oh, man. I'm gonna have to go in there and paint Sonic's face myself, Lords. Are you, like, staying away, <laughs> staying away from it? It's bo... Yeah, it's, yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I don't know what I'm gonna do about his face. Maybe I can get here. I'll show you. Yeah, there it is. Let me pause. No, go back. No, not stop. Oh crap. Can I play it? Not stop forever. Okay, here we go. Uh, pause. Where's pause? Stop. Okay, yeah, we gotta zoom in so you can see this. Oh no, it's so low quality. It's so hard because. What she's got there right now? What is it? It's... It's how thin the end of his nose is. Oh my god, hold on. It's... Yeah, watch, I'll show you guys. Oh, wrong. Yeah, see, see the end of his snout? How it gets really narrow at the end? Mine's a little chubbier at the end. Oh god, I gotta... Pause. So yeah, it's it th this stuff. It's a curse. I hate this. I, this is what being an artist is like guys like when when people hate on artists for talking about this stuff We already hate that we do this. I Hate seeing the mistake. I wish I could just <laughs> Like it's a blessing and a curse because like being able to see what you need to add is is what allows us to com like improve but it's also so much pain so when people like start hating on like, oh, you're nitpicking. It's like, I know it's so annoying. Okay. I just want it to look better. Okay. Like I just want, I don't want to see this. I don't want to see how bad it looks. But at this point with the models, like it's been too long. Like we should, they should be playing around with it. Um, I can't see it. I need to have the picture side by side. I probably could do that. Let's see here. I need to see what it's called. VLC video source. Oh god, I gotta rotate it and everything. <laughs> oh, this is like... This is all the, uh... Stimulation we need all in the right place. Oh boy, but I have to pause it at the beginning. <laughs> okay. Ah, uh, see, so his arm... His muzzle should be going over top his arm. And I think I've actually even made a mistake in my... Ah, uh, it's so slight, though. Because even my sketch is just a sketch. So basically all Lords needs to know is that... That arm... Is obviously extending... Further back than where his head would be. His head's in the middle of his body. His arm's not coming out of his chin, right? Or his chest. So, yeah, I think it's all about how you do that cheek that's further away. Because it's got a... You just don't want him to look too... Weaselly? You know what I mean? Like, where he's got a really narrow snout. Patty says, Mardiculous stream since when? Uh-oh, since now! Hello, Patty. Nice to see ya. Yeah, we're doing art too, so it's like the perfect redesigns. All the way back then... Evan making mistakes stream? We've done pretty good with mistakes. Okay? We've done pretty good with it. Can we talk about Mystic Cave Zone? Oh, wait, am I just synced? Is it not even synced? Wait, chat, you would know. You would be able to tell. Was my... Okay, my dancing was probably bad anyway, but... I don't even know if you can tell. How would I... I know my mic... Am I desynced? Wait, I have to just sing along. That's the only way to know. 
I think we fixed that like forever ago and I'm still using the same profile. Am I able to sing along with the music without you guys being like in pain? Like here, okay, I'm gonna try to do it for this song because this song is awesome. Station Square. Is it desynced? That would have been painful. Like, you would know. You would know. So just tell me. Like, is it lined up? The chat is... That much is probably true. The chat is definitely delayed. Uh, but I don't remember if I desynced everything. I don't think I... There's no way it would be working because I would have to manually delay my webcam. It's a bit delayed. It's in sync. I got two different answers. You're half of a second off. Yeah, so I would, I'd have to be delayed. That's the only thing that makes sense because I just added this webcam. Does that mean that another webcam profile I have is? But if my mic was still delayed, you guys would be... Yeah, you guys would be suffering the entire stream. Because if my mic was still delayed, then my my uh, webcam and my mic would not line up. So that's something I'll have to do in the future. Well, good to know. I'm, I'm not going to do, like, a bunch of singing and stuff. Uh, <laughs> I'll fix that next time. Thank you, chat, for helping me. Uh, it's, it, I, how do I not sing along? It's like... Also, uh, I said this at the beginning of the stream, but like, it's not the beginning anymore, so I'll say it again. I'm not even eligible for Super Chats right now, so you might be wondering like, why can't I do that? Yeah, even though I'm, I've had this channel for over 10 years, it's about how active you are. And I'm not active, so... <laughs> Uh, Jeremy James, what are your thoughts on the Sonic Heroes remake drama? Is there a game you personally would want a remake of first? So I was actually funny that you ask that, Jeremy, because I was going to do a stream. Like if you go to my live page, I think you guys can see it or maybe I can only see it because it's my account. Never mind. I was going to do a live stream when that was going on, like the remake rumors were going on. And one of the first things I wanted to say was like, guys, we need to rethink how we react to leaks because even if the leak is real, the way things work now, le a leak is only leaked because it's being discussed internally and they're trying to strategize what is like it normally leaks when it's too early to even matter. Normally. So you'll get you get a lot of leaks. Like the most This is this is the main statement. I'm trying to think of how to be concise with it. A majority of leaks leak because it's discussed at strategic planning meetings and there's more people at those increasing the chances of it leaking but it's too early to even know if that leak is actually a leak because they could just do a different strategy so even if it leaks and we choose to believe it believing it actually could damage the chances of it happening for example what if in their strategic plan they were like, if Heroes Remake is only a viable option if it's a surprise. And then y'all just don't talk about it and make a bunch of videos about it and oh, it's dead. We don't know that. We don't know why a Heroes Remake was on the table. So, and that's why when I, like on Twitter, I was talking about how I'm like, this push to make everything content works against it because it's making people who are just excited about Sonic that want to talk about Sonic actually hurt Sonic sometimes because they just are engaging with Sonic. But so that's a whole different thing. 
uh, which is another one of the many reasons why I, I'm definitely, I definitely overthink things. So I'm open to the possibility of being wrong on this, but you, if you followed me for a decent chunk of time on this channel, you'll probably be able to estimate that I'm pretty picky with what I put out because I'm very inactive. And so that's one of the many things I think about is the kind of the moral implications of what I'm doing. Sorry, guys, I have morals. And it, it makes it considerably harder to grow, but we can do it. That's why it really matters, like, it doesn't really matter about growing with quantity. It really matters about growing to a certain size where you can do events and make it fun for everyone. Like, for, like I, I think of it the same way, like, I'm a teacher, too, so I think of it the same way I do my classes. Like, people that attend my classes, it's the quality of the course material I plan can be the same between two groups, but when there's more people in the class, you're going to get more out of it because there's more people there. So when I, whenever I talk about growth, that's what that's about. But with classes, there's a cap. On the internet, it's just like, yeah, my number's bigger than yours, so L take for you. I, I, that's literally, I did funny voice for it. What, like whenever you mock something, like the, the dude at the, like whenever you like are telling a story about somebody who was annoying, that's what that's the voice. It's like, blah, 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 like, but that's even though I did that voice, that's literally, I'm not exaggerating. That's literally what it's like. I would have to do more. Like my joke was not good. I actually have to do more for it to be an exaggeration of this situation. Um, X pool. Evan Marty Mardigly Digly the draws shadow. In graduation? Yeah, is this a Kanye West reference, bro? Like, am I supposed to know what you're talking about? Because <clears throat> I don't. That's close to- it's, the, it's close to the Knuckles voice I do. <laughs> but that, like, that's not- I've- I never said, that's my legit- Like, I think Knuckles should sound like that. Uh, that's always been a flaw in my content because um, I have a like this. I have a serious Sonic voice that I, I I actually genuinely am interested in doing in fan projects and like when people call me up and want me to do it, I'm like yeah I'm I'm gonna I want to do that and it sounds pretty similar to the parody stuff I did with my Sonic voice. However, my shadow voice, I have a serious shadow voice and a funny one. So Sonic, it's one voice for two purposes. For Shadow, it's two voices, two different purposes. And then everything else, I don't really do any other Sonic character voices. So then for Knuckles, it was just like, whatever I wanted to do. At that point, I was just having fun. But I genuinely want to voice Sonic. And Shadow's okay. I could, I could do Shadow. I know Premi is super nice about my Shadow voice. He's like, best Sonic fan Shadow I'm like, bro, you're so nice. <laughs> I'm happy that he likes it only because like, he's so picky. His, he, well, actually that, that's not the right way to describe Premi, I don't think. He has a very particular thing he's into. And so it makes me happy that somebody who is not typically satisfied with Sonic's output nowadays is satisfied with, um, something I do because I'm I don't particularly I'm more of a Jason Griffith shadow voice fan than I am of Kirk this is where it's like it gets into a weird gray area like I have professionally studied voice acting and so there's one half of me that's like Kirk Kirk's reputation as a voice actor is incredible his work is incredible he it, it, it's very similar to how I talk about Roger like my sonic fandom and my voice acting experience battle each other but this is why i want to have these discussions with you guys because isn't that interesting being in the middle of those two things because you're not just hearing like for example mike pollock mike Pol mike pollock is in the sonic community but he's more a voice actor than he is a sonic fan and i'm the opposite Does that make sense 
Like, I don't just do only Sonic fan voice work. I worked with actual voice actors in the industry to make something that's not Sonic and went in the studio and stuff. So having that experience and studying that gives you a different outlook, especially since you've been in the community for a really long time as well. So I'm here just kind of seeing what I can absorb from you guys, but also just like, remember that time when? Remember that time when? Uh, so what's the status? What's the reasoning behind the art and all that? Oh, the art that we're doing here? Um, well, I mean, it's this, it's kind of just a continuation of the usual discussion X pool where it's like, I don't really like the generic kind of 3D models for promotional. I think we can, we can, we can ask for more. You know what I mean? Like, I don't think there's anything like inherently flawed. Like I, there are flaws with it, but the way I described it earlier to the chat X pool, just to catch you up was that I've sim I've been so overexposed to the current 3D model we have that I almost don't see it. So I can't appreciate it the same way that someone who's less exposed to it can. And I think that's where the, uh, the disconnect comes from is the different point of views looking at the same model. And so to d plug it into my whole critical and hype lens that I'm sure you know about X pool, it's basically asking for Sega to just kind of like play around with the models more. We pulled up these two images too, X pool. Um, where the ones from forces 2017 and ones from like the other day and I don't see a considerable jump in quality between those two things but the Sonic franchise has made it a considerable jump in financial earnings and so it's not even like I'm trying to make this objective I love this song too I know not everyone likes colors but like I, I've always loved how bouncy this song is um but yeah that's basically what we're talking about it's just like we need just more you know play with it play and I showed a time-lapse of my drawing which I actually can throw on here and uh, but shrink it because this is way too big for I should play this every once in a while for people who are joining later but not covering the paint so yeah we were talking about how I I really had to do a lot like you can see how the quills were up at the beginning I had to do a lot to before I got kind of completely settled with Shadow. You can see Sonic looks barely different though from the beginning. Like <laughs> he, he he I know I know Sonic's look a little bit better than I do Shadows, so. Uh you know what I could probably well no, you really have to see a majority of my work is on the face, so that's the best way to appreciate it. Maybe I can tuck it under my webcam and Oh uh, wait, no, I can seek through it faster, so it doesn't need to be so slow. So you can see how I change the head angle quite a bit. And then I just stack on the colors so it looks nice. But that's what Lords is working with right now, x -Pool. And then it's basically... We're talking about how there's just so many different angles and different ways you can go about drawing something. Even me, right? Even the paper I have before I took it to the iPad, that hand is physically cut out of another paper and taped to it. Like, I had to draw it multiple times before even this. Yeah, you can see it right there. Okay, yeah, the tape. Look at that. Yeah, it took a while to get everything right. It's like a really freaking long time. A lot of work. Uh, but I I'm really happy with what we, uh, what we have. x -Pool. That reminds me of Sonic games in general. I can't appreciate them anymore because I've played them so much. Uh, I think the renders should really take cues from Modern Mario and making small changes. You know what? I agree, but I only I only like to use Mario in this comparison because when you look at when Mario made those renders, I know some people don't like the word sauce, but I do, okay? My live stream, I'll talk how I want to. Sonic next to those Mario renders used to have way more sauce. So it's like We need to get back to like and there's nothing wrong with those Mario renders, but like Mario has something else. Yeah, he appeals to people for another reason and it's not that we're not People don't come up with the word sauce when they look at Mario. They came up with it for Sonic specifically for a reason and it's, I'm not saying Mario's like doesn't have sauce. Like that's, 
That's all I'm saying. I'm sure when you think of Mario and when he looks good, a different word to describe that comes about. But sauce is just like, I, I like how it's vague because I'm talking about like, like play with it, the playful nature of it. And play fits Mario too. They play around with it. But the, the corporate thing I was talking about before fits Mario a little bit better for me. The Sonic brand I grew up with felt a little bit more risky and willing to kind of mess around and play with the look. And that specific energy is what I'm talking about. So it's hard. Like I don't I don't want to in this in the context of what I think Sonic should do, I don't want to say Mario because I feel like doing that is what led us to the renders we have now because Mario kind of that is the playback book that I think they're following Mario's doing better renders now and yeah he should tweak his renders like Mario does but we should aim higher we should I think we should aim higher like I don't know but I'm a, I'm a Sonic artist, not a Mario artist. So I obviously I like the way Sonic looks more. So I obviously see the potential in the way he could look really cool more. Uh, but if I was in the room with a Mario artist, just as passionate as I am, then, you know, I would be able to probably learn something from them and I would be willing to. But that's just my take on it. All I can do is answer authentically. Don't like sauce? What did you put on pasta then? Says Jark. When I was a kid? Wait, why did I do that though? Why did I... I don't... I, I remember as a kid eating spaghetti, but it was with like Caesar salad dressing. Did I not like tomato sauce? You know what though? My mom was probably using bad tomato sauce because Lord's is really particular about like tomato sauce. And it's... I love it. I love it now. So, there was something. My household didn't know tomatoes. Didn't know the tomato way. Your name should be Ed Edible Tomatoes. <laughs> Come on, there's no other time I could have made that joke. I had to. <laughs> Evan, don't. <laughs> I had to. It was too easy, I had to. That would be the only username that makes sense for you. Are you sure you want to make the background behind Shadow such a similar color to him? Because in the image, the orange of the explosion is spilling like this far. It's almost like Sonic's side of the painting is blue and his side is like reddish orange. My, I'm, Lords knows colors better than I do and values and stuff, but I'm... But if we're talking values, like those values are really similar to each other right now. So you, she's probably gonna make shadow much lighter, like illuminated by the uh, light of the explosion. So that's probably why she's stacking on a darker color for now. I didn't like tomato sauce once though. Well, there's bad tomato sauce. I think that's the point I'm making, right? Is like that you can buy bad tomato sauce. Like if your Sam procrastinates and you buy Prego, you have no taste. He literally, we, he, we had this discussion. This is from like when we first met His Lords and Sam had beef over pasta sauce. And Sam was like firm on like, no, Prego's good. Prego's good. We had a meetup with like everybody, like a bunch of people. Lords can hear me, yes. Uh, with a bunch of people. She just doesn't always answer because her mic is low quality in the room she's in. Um, that's why she's giving us like, yes, no. Um, but yeah, we had like a whole competition with all our friends in there. And like, they're both both of our friends so no bias we filmed the whole thing sam's like i'll edit it never edited it want to know why because he lost release the pasta cut right at least post it on twitter i'm not asking him to like put it in his subscription or sorry his uh upload tab but like at this point it's just gonna be like a, a throwback Sign language lords. I don't think lords knows sign language. Oh, we're getting some lag on the Yeah, the frame rate's kind of dookie right now 
Oh, it fixed itself a little bit. I'm thinking... I don't know, chat, what do you think? Like, there's multiple ways we can do this. She's just in the other room. There's gotta be a way I can, like, send her camera feed, even if it's a little delayed, directly through our Wi-Fi. Like, I don't mind if there's a delay on it, if the frame rate is nice. And, like, the quality is really clean, because she's using a DSLR camera right now. So that, like, it can look good. Like, when we get into the details, she can really zoom in there. We're not, I'll, I should clarify, we're not going to finish it this stream. So we'll probably come back with, and I'll probably have to thumbnail and title it differently. Like, something else people are talking about. I don't know. Someone's probably going to bitch about the way Shadow acts or something. I don't know. Uh, we'll talk about that. I don't know. And I know I say bitch and I'm describing complaining in a bad light, but that's just joking. Obviously, I want people to, uh, I want people to do that for multiple reasons. So I have a, something to talk about, but also because that's the discussion. As long as it's constructive, it leads to innovation and change. Sonic Stefan 1981 says, Hey, how have you been doing? I've been doing pretty good, actually. Much better. Uh, a lot of things kind of just like chain reacted into each other after the pandemic for me. Like, I, like building up after that was like really hard for me career wise like because i'm a teacher so it's been it's been it's been rough um but then also just like a lot of other like random things that have nothing to do with covid um just like unlucky things happened um at my job i still have it and everything and i still really like it but like just made the workload really tough this, the music is definitely too loud. I love this song, but like... Okay. I can't sing along! Ah! It's, it's like so painful. I wanted to like bob my head around. Ah, I want to sing the lyrics so bad. I have to fix this so fast. How do you not dance to this? You will permit me some dancing, right? Even if it's desync. Are you going to fix it for me? Why are you here? Are you going to fix the desyncing? Tonight. I'm like sweating my ass off tonight. Oh, you're done painting? Yeah. How many hours have you been going? Two, I think. How many? Two. Two hours? Okay, not bad. I mean, I'll probably do some, uh, I'll chat with the chat for a little bit longer now that we know we're gonna end soon. Uh, but yeah. Are you gonna leave that call? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I, w I, w I wish there was a way I could pause my screen share so we could just stare at it. Looks really good. I just want to stare at it. I get to stare at it in real life. Hey, and if you buy it, you get to stare at it in real life too. Um, no, she's covering it. It's gone. All right, well, chat, it's just you and me now. But it's okay. It'll it'll make us value it, so that when we come back, we can appreciate it. I can leave this call now too. Sweet. So yeah, next stream, I'm going to um, fix the desync here. Uh, fix that chat text size and maybe put like a little uh, black fade behind it because it looks a little hard to read. Belena's in the chat. Yo, what's up? How was your move, dude? Thanks for stopping by. Uh, we're about to end, but like, I'm sure all you were doing is stopping by to say hi, which is always great. I got to give you, you're not a mod. What's going on? Just in case you come back, we give you that mod. I, I, I mean, I'm also doing that to hold myself to it. I gotta stream again so Belena will come back and say hi to me. <laughs> Moves great. Yeah, your studio looks so clean, dude. You know I can appreciate, yeah, I can appreciate that studio. Um, did you name the hedgehogs behind you? No, I did not. I did not. Uh, I feel like I would forget because they all look the same. <laughs> this one's Sonic, this one's Sonic. This one's Sonic. That one's Sonic. Uh, I'm not even looking at the viewership. What did we, what did we end up with? I know we're gonna have a teeny tiny group because I'd never use this channel. Where are we at? Oh, I still see my empty seat. Hey, not bad. That's pretty good. That's pretty good for never being on this channel. 40 you guys hey we are gonna shout out some regulars right about now thanks guys for coming out 
That is not bad at all. However, everybody feels like a regular to me now. I mean, I've already acknowledged the regulars because I have people that like won't leave me alone. I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, they just keep coming back and like it It feels really good. Like, I don't know. I'm at the, I'm at the point on the internet. Like, I know there's definitely an element to like acknowledging something and you're like, you're in denial. But like, I've been on the internet so long. Like, I just want to see those familiar faces. That's really what it's about. Like, Belena has been around so long and like seeing him around and like Dion every time and Lords still being around, okay. you know, it's just nice to see people still thriving in the community and just having a good time. We love bothering you, Evan. Oh boy, you can't fit in frame. It's literally designed to, I literally, Lords, it's up there so that doesn't happen. <laughs> she won't know how to fix it either. Uh, let's see. I don't even have like a technical difficulty screen. Opal, I love you, but why? Let's see. It wouldn't be an Evan stream without something going wrong. I literally might not be able to fix this. Because you don't know how to... Uh, where are the other two clips? You have to grab them. Where's the other one? God. Oh, hey, it actually looks almost like exactly like it did before. Yeah, I know you were trying to get Opal on screen, but there's literally no, 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 Opal. Opal, Opal. No. Yeah, it's because the corners hang over the edge, so. Yeah, it's like, it's like, it's on a stand like this. You probably just saw it, right? It's, so the backdrop is sitting on it like this. And so if Opal's head comes into this spot and pulls it back, the flimsy little clips that are attaching it just pop right off. So the whole thing falls. You guys know what my background looks like. It's just so that like, I mean, I was thinking we were gonna stream a little bit longer because I honestly, spring has sprung. So it's hot now. So the Lord's literally said, she's like, I'm overheating in there. Um, but I do the backdrop so I can keep the door open and lords can still like go into the kitchen and like do stuff without being streamed to the entire internet. Uh, so sorry about the delay. I'm gonna stay a little bit longer because uh, I was intending to talk to you guys a little bit longer than setting up the backdrop again. <laughs> All right, let's see. The real Mardiculous, the real set, the true version. The truth has been laid bare. We love the chaos. I'm sure you do. Like I said earlier, like for whatever reason, people love watching the streamer suffer. Uh, so yeah, I'm not worried about it. Yeah, it went from like 72 to 89 yesterday. Yeah, like it just like, you could, you could probably see me getting a little cooked. <laughs> Luckily it's uh, ending. I thought that was your wall. I mean, that's the illusion it's supposed to kind of create is that I'm in a pocket dimension just for the live stream. So it's not distracting, like it keeps us focused on the show. I ideally would have like a fancier set. I bought, I bought more than just this. I have uh, other white, like blank ones, just like this. But this is the first one I made. Um, because it's the, it's the simplest idea I could think of. Like I have spray paint, I had to cut out the stencils myself. So I'm like, what can I do that I know won't waste an entire blank panel for my background? Um, and so now I'm, uh, all I gotta do is think of what I'm gonna do next. So it doesn't mess it up. You thought it too, but well, that's good. It means it's doing its job. Um, not, it's just, I don't know. It's, it's something, it's, it's an artistic choice in the same way that there's a bunch of artistic choices you just saw Lords and us, Lords and me make on the, uh, painting we did today. Um, that, that's just what I like to do is, um, create kind of a show all right i think that is about it love the song though but i think i am noticing that i am getting too warm as well so where do i how do i want to do oh so because see another thing i can do because of the backdrop let me see if i can get it right you know how you know how sam does stuff like credits 
because I'm on... You gotta get it perfect. That That's how you make people think it's, it looks like a wall. Is you get... See that little part in the corner here? You can kind of see through it. That's what I do before the stream starts. I make it so it fits every corner. There we go. See? Now I'm in a different room. But I kind of like the stream. Like the... How, what did you guys think about the beginning? Where I literally... I mute my mic, but I'm off... Like it's just my mic. Like this. I almost forgot I was muted. I feel like if my chair was nicer, uh, it would look better. <laughs> because I switched out my computer chair for this like stand-in chair because the space that I have to move around is so small now because of the getting the backdrop like I just described to you that having armrests makes the cables of my headphones and everything really restrictive. And as you can tell, I'm <laughs> punching in all these directions going crazy. I talk with my hands a lot. And so it's important that I don't have a wire around my finger and pull my headphones off or break something or my chair rotates too much. Evan leaves the stream. <laughs> uh, take care, Evan. Uh, see ya, Steve. Nice to see you again. Uh, all right. Uh, I'm going to head out and I think I'm going to do... I think I'm going to end the stream the same way I started it. I don't know if there's a point to doing that, though. I think I'm just going to let the music kind of play and then end it a little. I don't know what the strategy for that is, though. It's just dramatic. So, uh, bye.